Hey guys, Sane Prince here and today I want to talk to you about my channel and my absence from it. If you've been following me, you'll know that I haven't posted any real content in the last few months. So I thought, why not make my first video back explaining where I've been and announce some exciting changes that are coming your way. So, let's get started. Right, so first off, you might have noticed the change in my logo and the removal of gaming from my channel name, leaving me with one Saiyan Prince. I'm going to discuss my reasoning for this change, as well as provide some context to this. But for now I want to discuss something far more important, which is my content, or a lack of. There is no denying that 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. I myself started the year with high expectations, but I got sick and became very ill, and overall my health took a major hit. So, I decided to take a step back from YouTube and focus on the more important things in my life. My health, both physically and spiritually, my wife, my daughter and my parents. And whilst I would absolutely love to make videos for a living, I have a permanent job that consumes the majority of my time. Fortunately, God has given me the strength to bounce back and during this time away I've been thinking about the channel and where I'd like to take it in the future. So that explains where I've been. Now let me tell you where this channel is going. To keep things simple, here's a breakdown of the content I'm currently working on. Just your typical good old coverage of the latest gaming news, everything from games, events, products and all things newsworthy. Live streams will be new to the channel and ultimately I'm hoping new and veteran players can learn a thing or two from my streams. It's my way of giving back to the community and helping gamers become better. So, as I've explained in my earlier videos, my cinematic edits are all about shining a light on a game and giving credit where credit is due to the developers who work day and night to produce moving art. It's about showing you something that you're likely to miss on a playthrough. The little intricate details hidden in the background, the environment, the characters and of course the overall visuals. My cinematics have been popular with my viewers and it's something I really love to do. However, each cinematic consumes a lot of time, so moving forward, I'll only be focusing on key AAA tiles. Yep, you heard that right. As part of new content coming to the channel, I'll now be reviewing games. In fact, I've managed to get lucky and snag an early copy of The Last of Us Part 2, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, Retro Reviews has always been a part of my plan, exploring classics from the past and reviewing them for the current day and age. And that's not all. I'll also be exploring and reviewing the latest and greatest that technology has to offer. With next generation on the horizon, I'll be looking at the latest headsets, controllers, displays and of course, the next generation consoles. There's other content I'm considering for the channel, such as a weekly monthly podcast, but for now, my focus is on the ones listed above and we'll see what the future has in store for the channel. Right, now I want to discuss my decision to rebrand the channel. And the reasoning is quite simple and straightforward. Saiyan Prince Gaming implies that my channel and all content associated with it would somehow be connected to games or the industry. But it also means that I'm restricted with the content I create, almost bottlenecking myself and not really allowing myself to test the wars and see what else viewers might enjoy. Now don't get me wrong, the main reason I started this channel was due to my love for gaming. In fact, this might come as a shock to you but I've been creating content for the last 9 years. The first cinematic I ever created was for Crisis and granted, the editing was bad, I mean really really bad but there's just something so satisfying about putting out a video and having others appreciate the effort and relating to your experience with that game. Making videos was and continues to remain my passion and I still expect the majority of my content to be related to games but having that flexibility is important to me. Actually a uh, quick side note, if you are interested in checking out my Crisis cinematic a link to that will be in the description below. Ok, we're near the finish line now but before I go, I want to address one of the most commonly asked questions I ever get. And to answer this question, I need to talk about an animation, an animation called Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z to be more specific and some of its characters. Now erring on the side of caution, I am not claiming in any way to be an expert on Dragon Ball. Please keep in mind anything I say here is going to be completely subjective. I am interpreting these characters myself based on my experience with the show and I will do my best to keep this brief and to the point. With that out of the way, let's get started. Enter Vegeta. Vegeta is a soldier, a warrior with a chip on his shoulder. He's actually the main villain in the first arc of Dragon Ball Z 
and he's portrayed as arrogant, selfish, evil even. But what many seem to forget is his origin, his backstory which is heartbreaking. Vegeta comes from a planet which he is named after, Planet Vegeta. This planet is home to a race called Saiyans and Vegeta's father, King Vegeta, is the king of all Saiyans. And being that Vegeta is his son, Vegeta is the prince of the Saiyan race. Now, Planet Vegeta, even though home to a warrior race, was under the control of a tyrant called Frieza, and not too long after coming under his control is the entire planet obliterated. Literally every single Saiyan is wiped out of existence. It's basically mass genocide, and King Vegeta is killed during the attack, leaving behind his son, the only living member of the Saiyan race, or so we're led to believe. Vegeta, as a child, was forced into slavery, working under Frieza, all the while building up anger resentment and hatred towards his inability to be a prince to his former people, and only has his pride as a warrior to keep him going. Years pass and Frieza continues his assaults and finally has his eyes set on Earth. Vegeta, now an adult warrior, is sent down to begin the attack, only to be met by another warrior with less training than him. Enter Goku. Now in the interest of time, I'm going to skip over Goku's story. All that you need to know is his father sent him to Earth when he feared the destruction of Planet Vegeta. Sound familiar? And yes, that does make Goku a Saiyan. Goku, the protector of the human race, battles Vegeta. Despite being the prince of all Saiyans and a warrior with more fighting experience, he's still defeated by someone he deems lower class than he. This defeat humbles Vegeta and forces him to rethink his priorities. In the next arc, Vegeta decides to exact revenge against Frieza. A brief battle takes place and Vegeta is overpowered and helpless. But in this weak moment, he calls out to Goku and reminds him that whilst the human race is his new family, his biological mother and father, his Saiyan race was massacred by Frieza and that is something that can never be forgiven. Goku once again proves himself to be the stronger warrior and defeats Frieza. In the process, Goku transcends and transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan, still carrying the burden of his terrible origin, being made even worse since he was not able to close the book on Frieza himself, Vegeta felt lacking in comparison to Goku. But Vegeta doesn't give up. His defeats in battle, his pride, his hunger to be the best is what drives Vegeta to achieve new levels of power off screen. You see, this is why I love the character of Vegeta, why I relate to him so much. He's always pushing himself to be the best. He learns from his mistakes and he never gives up. And you see this continue throughout the rest of the series, even in the later Dragon Ball shows like Super. It's all about competition, the next big fight becoming better, more powerful, quicker, and ultimately being the absolute best. It's for this reason that I can identify with the Saiyan Prince persona. You see, I'm a competitive individual, I like to be the best at everything, especially in games. My gaming career is quite expansive. My first console was the Commodore 64, and me and my brother loved the game Top Gun, and we would go at it to get the best score. I grew up retaining that competitive nature, and have managed to play some of the best players in the world across a range of games. More recently I've been playing Modern Warfare and I think my stats on the game speak for itself, but I have been defeated and I lost countless times, but that won't stop me from trying to improve. And that's not the only reason that I relate to Vegeta. Vegeta is incredibly flawed. Throughout the series he continues to make mistakes, some far more menacing than others, but you also see his regrets, his actions to correct himself, having a family, protecting the ones he originally came to destroy, falling in love. There's just something so human about Vegeta that I personally don't see in his rival Goku. Vegeta is a husband, a good husband, and at times a frustrated one. He's a father, a father to look up to, and at times a father a child would never aspire to. He's powerful and uses that for much good, but also weak-minded which can lead to much evil. And all of this is something that I as a God-fearing individual can relate to entirely. Anyways, I hope that gives you guys a bit of insight into why I identify myself as Saiyan Prince. We now reach the end of this video and if you've stuck around for this long, maybe drop a like or subscribe. Or if you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button and let me know why in the comments below. And finally a message to my subscribers who have consistently shown support for this channel. Thank you. I have a tough road ahead and a lot of work to do, so I best get started. And for all the newcomers, and I hope you're out there. I guess my message to you is, this is Saiyan Prince and welcome to my channel.